Howdy YouTube, just a quick one for you, just to kind of give you a heads up what I'm doing after what I've done worked already today. I got off three, I've already been doing this for three hours, so I'll show you what we're doing, or what I'm doing. So I'm using my old grain truck here as a hauler, this is what I use it all for. So he's loading me up with this uh, lovely manure stuff. It ain't really manure. I guess it is, but it's been sitting here long enough it's turned into fertilized dirt. So this actually makes load five for me. And as soon as I get this loaded, I'm gonna get it emptied here in town. Then I'm gonna come back and get loaded again. So this is what I've been doing for the last three hours. Old truck's been doing pretty good. I might have to go run down and put some fuel in it, but I think I'll do that before I leave town. The nice thing is, is fuel station's right over there. And I don't have to go but maybe a few miles that direction to go dump this load, come back, get loaded again, then go to the fuel station and get some fuel and go home and go dump that load at my neighbor's house. Figured, well, if I'm heading back, might as well go back with the load. Help my neighbor out. He helps me out all the time. Old truck's been doing pretty good. I'm happy with this old truck. I would say in the last four loads, we've hauled off, I'd say anywhere between 40 to 32 ton. And this load right here, Depending on how full it gets it, like all the other ones, I'd say we'd have about 10 ton on this thing. So we're in we're in the, the we'll be in the 40 to 50 ton range uh, once he gets this load, and then I'll come back and get it plumb loaded full again before it's all said and done. We've uh, I've hauled quite a bit of dirt out of here or this this dirt out of here already. That was a pretty de decent sized pile, but they've got an abundance of it. Way back up in there. Several hundred tons of it. So, just keep watching them fill this thing up. It's kind of interesting. It's not my favorite piece of equipment right there. I don't like gales. I either a cat or a bobcat. John Deere's not too bad, but I'm not a gale fan. Never ran a New Holland, so I don't. I can't say much about a New Holland skid steer. Still got room for plenty more. This has got a 14 foot flatbed on it, and it's got four foot sides on it. So my old 68 F600. Four speed, 366. On all, been a really good truck. I've had it for close to two years. I've got no brakes on it. Well, it's got brakes, but it ain't got power brakes on it. So it's just the manual brakes. I had to bypass the booster. I did get it in the tree rows once and knocked off the turn signal, but as you can tell by the scratches down the side of it, It's a work truck, it's not a beauty queen. One day, I'm gonna replace this old power plant in this truck. I've got a 7.3 turbo, well, I don't, I might put a turbo on it, but I've, I've got a 7.3 diesel I'm gonna drop in this thing with a five speed. It has a two speed rear end in it now. So with a four speed with a two speed rear end, and I go up one more gear, she already runs 65 mile an hour down the road, believe it or not. There we go, getting a nice load on her. Now she's gonna come in on the sides. I'm gonna have put a good load on this one. And then come back and put a second good load on it. Nice 
nice thing about it, this is free dirt. It don't cost me nothing. It ain't cost me to load it. it. Ain't calling me for anything for it. So that's a good thing. Probably the last dump right here. Oh yeah, I'd say there's close to 10 ton on there. This stuff ain't light. I'm gonna haul this down the road and we're gonna show you what I get done over there. I might be putting a little more on there. I'm going to come back and show you where I'm dumping it. <laughs> I'm going to try to film and drive this old big at one time. I don't know how this is going to work because i got to stand on this thing to hit the brakes. Like I said it ain't very far where i got to go with this heavy load. There's never been a 10 ton plus on this thing. so I can back this thing in this area. And I'll show you when I dump it. Okay. Okay. Pull that out. Pull that out. Let her do her thing. Whew. Can you believe that uh, this has been here a little over a month and a half? built this house brand new from the ground up so that's why we still got a portage on cut all these trees get a load of dirt here so we get all this landscape in between you gotta put a fence in still waiting on the main line to be put in for the sewer bed go up one more time and there she is disengage the pump put her 
centered and versed. Shake it out of here. It's only downfall about this whole truck. You don't ain't got enough steep enough on the bed to. sticking for some reason. Oops. Right. See how much is left lingering inside. Oh heck that's a healthy load. Uh, okay I'm gonna continue to try to shake this out. Back for load six. Last load for today. Get this loaded, get some fuel, and go home. Air scoop. Sticky icky icky. Alright, I'm gonna save you all the boring detail of it getting loaded, so I'll show you what it looks like full. Well, uh, almost back to the house. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm in third gear. No power. I had a big old bang and this noise. So I either put a hole in the block or blew a cross manifold. But I ain't got I got no power in fourth. I had to be in third. I think I blew exhaust, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I got a heavy, heavy load on this one. Almost, almost home. I think I, I think I, uh, I need to fight this stuff, no brakes.
made it to my house. I'm gonna get this thing in the position. I'm gonna get this dirt off the back of it and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna end this right here and I'll come right back. <laughs> well, I got her parked. Uh, I haven't unloaded it yet. I had to call my neighbor and find out exactly where he wanted this dumped. But as I was on the phone with him, I discovered what my pop was and why I had no power. I haven't touched it. But can you tell me what's missing? That dead gum thing blew out a brand spanking new park plug. But brand spanking new park plug. Because there it is. I've literally have no idea why it did that. But at least it was nice enough to lay the wire across the air cleaner and not on the exhaust and ruin a brand new plug wire. So, hey, I got to be thankful for that. And I made it home. So I think that's the reason why I was losing power. I hope that the uh, insulator didn't go down inside the cylinder and scar anything. But we'll fire it up here in a minute. And, uh, oh, yeah, she's got a... She's got a healthy load on the back of her. She's pretty full. This is a wet load. Pretty heavy. But we'll fire it up, raise the bed, get it empty, park the truck, and we'll put a spark plug in it later. I ain't gonna be using her no more. Not until I get a spark plug in it. <laughs> Still runs. There you go. At least I know having one spark plug blow out ain't gonna ruin the engine too bad. Not the little Ford Ranger I was driving. My buddy was driving and did the same thing to it. Popped the plug out of it. Can't argue with it though. Got me home. So this bed gets up and I'll shake it empty and then we'll go park the truck. There she falls. Thing worked pretty hard today, so I'm not gonna complain on her. There she is. Let's go shake it out. get it all out in one load see I thought to fight that let me shake it a little more and I'll come back okay I got the truck backed over here in the yard all unloaded I uh, I'll come deal with the uh, spark plug issue I'm glad that that's all it actually is it was a spark plug issue so I'm poop for today I just brought you along for this little adventure. Probably nothing exciting, but hey, it's something, right? I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and comment, and you all have a great day, and God bless you.